Okay, we are now coming up on probably one of my favorite things here. This big thing you're looking at is a massive ancient mango tree that has been converted into, it's still a living tree, it stopped producing mangoes uh, some time ago, but this is a tree house and a prayer garden. We're gonna get a closer look at this in just a minute. So this is the entryway. They've created this really cool trellis that just welcomes you into this experience. I mean, it really does feel like a sacred place. Um, you can see the treehouse there. These are twin trees, and I'll let Trevor tell us about how this all came into being. So uh, we're also trying to teach a different form of spirituality than just people in a darkened building praying, praying, and laboring. We try to teach a listening prayer, uh, getting into nature, letting God speak to you through what he created. And so uh, we've planned throughout the land and at all of our centers these areas where people can learn to appreciate nature, get still and listen to God, be restored in their spirits. And so you've got a hammock, a place to just rest, to listen, to get quiet. Uh, that's how our spirits actually come alive. And especially in a Western society where we're so busy all the time, we need to, like, nature is one of the ways we actually come back to life. Yes. And so we teach this balance of instead of looking out at your land and thinking, how much money can I get? Can I chop that tree down? That tree is worth so much money. We start saying, no. It's that tree's ministering to your soul, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's worth more than its weight in charcoal. Yeah. Uh, if you have rats or snakes on the land, we need eagles. They need that tree to have their nest in. And yes. we have nesting eagles that'll kill the rats. They'll eat your snakes, right? It's balancing nature out. How old do you think this tree is? Probably about 80 years. And this was once a mango tree, correct? There's two mango trees. They are. They don't produce much anymore. But, and tell uh, us about this bench. This looks like something you made out of recycled industrial materials. Yeah, so we teach welding as well. So everything is, uh, all of our centers, all the guys you see around are actually from multiple different centers. Uh, they come and they do an internship here and they learn building techniques, welding. They learn how to actually get jobs, right, and maintain themselves. And then after that, then our center, our resource center in all these areas, they start teaching it. So we're training the trainers here. And so when they come for a three month internship, they learn how to do all this and then they go back and take it to their communities. Yeah. And so this is how we reseed ourselves. And we're always growing. We're at eight centers now, multiple countries. This thing just kind of grows on its own, right? Once yeah. you've trained people. Yeah. Let's have a quick tour. So this is the sort of the plaza. I've spent some time actually praying here myself. Incredibly peaceful, probably one of the most idyllic spots to just come and sit and pray you know you see in the in the bible that jesus liked to go and pray in the garden and i can see why this is the let's see from a different angle this is a platform that uh, can fit about 10 people i've heard total this is the entryway to the tree house or the prayer a the, mahogany staircase the upper <laughs> the upper room the upper platform I feel like I'm in the Swiss Family Robinson right now. So, Jackson, come on up here. I want to make sure we go. So you see this actually very beautifully finished deck with nice stained wood and everything. Uh, the, the tree still drops a number of leaves and I saw the gentleman out here cleaning and sweeping this uh, yesterday. So is this a daily or by a couple times a week, people just come and sort of sweep it up here, so. Usually I do the sweeping. They were gonna clean for me, because I know, but this I come This is the out, amazing just... uh, treehouse that's so we'll, a prayer center. We'll actually do treehouse dinners up here. We'll set tables out. Wow. Of course, Zach's right, we've got some lighting that goes up. And uh, you can come up and watch the sunset and just learn uh, there's just something about being in this spot, yes. being up with the birds. This is a direct upwards view of where we're standing, which is literally, you're, you're covered by a canopy of, of nature. It's just beautiful. Yeah. So the design is we're going to have a bridge that goes across to that tree, and there'll be another tree house, uh, another platform up in that tree. Wow. And then there'll be a zip line that goes down the hill. Oh so, my gosh. Well, but, you know, that's a, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm coming back again to do part two in a couple years then. <laughs>